I think maybe like my senior year in high school was like the first time I'd actually shot, you know, Super 8 film. People in the film scene, you know, oh, my parents gave me a camera when I was five, you know, but I was sort of a late bloomer um, as far as my interest in that. And then once I got to college, I ended up being a uh, sort of the equivalent of RTF major here, but it was communication studies or whatever. So basically when I got here, there were all these, you know, big festivals and they were like once a year. So it sort of seemed like, hey, you know, Flickr in Chapel Hill was cool. We did it, you know, like six times a year and it was free for the filmmakers and there was nothing really similar to that here. So I was like, you know what, like it made such a huge impression on me and encouraged me and inspired me to, you know, shoot film, which, you know, there's obviously video is a much easier alternative, but I said, you know what, like if we can do that for somebody else or give the people that are shooting here somewhere to screen their stuff, like why not? And so that was, you know, three and a half years ago. <laughs> and we get them from Los Angeles, we get them from both coasts, we get them from all around. And, and every screening, usually there are at least one or two or three or maybe more local filmmakers who participate, sometimes four or five. <laughs>of Flickr and the point of all these chapters, you know, the reason that they even exist is to encourage people to try film if they've never tried it before. Um, digital video is not in any way, you know, going extinct when we're down to like, you know, four Super 8 film stock. So we're just trying to encourage that celluloid art form and to get maybe someone who hasn't tried it before to try it. But um, it's nothing personal. <laughs> That's the one thing that's different about Flickr. Everything originates on film, and I love film. I've been shooting, shooting it forever, and it's so great to go to Flickr, and it's like if you make, go to the trouble of making a present for someone and wrapping it up, you like to watch them unwrap it, you know, and you like to, you like to see their, their reaction, and that's what's so cool about, about Flickr. We can shoot film, and we can go down, and they screen it. We get to see it on the big screen, and then we get to see if what we were trying to do, how it worked. Put your print, tape, DVD in an envelope, mail it to us um, with your contact information. Uh, it's just got to be under 15 minutes in length, and we'll email you as soon as it's scheduled to screen. So It's either we give away $100 um, in cash to a filmmaker who submitted a grant, or we take that $100 and split it up into film stock and divide it between all the local filmmakers who are screening. So either way, we're putting that $100 back. If it weren't for Flickr, I, there's really not much reason to shoot small gauge film. It is, it is, it's expensive. And um, it's just, it's kind of a dying art. Yeah, we've given away like maybe a thousand dollars, you know, maybe 10 grants, you know, not including film stock giveaways and stuff. But, you know, we don't make a lot of money, but the money towards the door that we do make, we try to put back into it so that we have more good films to screen in the future. Sorry. <laughs> I guarantee you will see things at Flickr that you will never see anywhere else. It's nothing like the slick squash that comes out of Hollywood and New York. It is, there, there's the potential for surprises. Uh, there's no censorship. There's no corporate interest dictating content or style. Uh, the, the, we Flickr filmmakers have to answer to no one. We shoot what we want to shoot, when we want to shoot it, the way we want to shoot it, and we take it downtown. As long as it was shot on film in under 15 minutes, we'll show it at Flickr.